Zakovi, an accomplished sculptor, painter, and master builder, has turned his full attention to constructing windmobiles. These wind vanes, up to one ton, are huge stones with steel fixtures for bearings, bases, tail feathers, and embellishments. At first sight, they are a pleasant surprise to see a boulder and steel plates blowing in the wind, then a joy to watch. Some of these pieces spin and weave in breezes as low as three miles per hour. Zach muses, it is better than watching the sprinklers go around. Zakovi grew up in Livingston, Montana famous for its wind. He was also project manager on a 60-foot prototype wind turbine in California. But he confesses that until doing this wind jammer series, he did not understand wind. He says, these pieces are teaching me about the wind and the physics of kinetic energy. Before, I did not think of the wind as a fluid flowing very much like a vast river. Even the cloud types, pressure cells, cold fronts, stormy and calm days make sense due to this series. This work is a joy to do and a joy to share. Zach also creates mobiles that are turned by people rather than the wind. These pieces are toys for the viewer to interact with. The traditional taboo of don't touch the art goes away. A tall and stoic Stella, pirouettes for the viewer. Turning like a model on stage, the composition becomes a mental movie. The double jointedness of pendant allows the viewer great interaction to play with the piece discovering its highly articulated joints. It can be left in a new position to view from the house or street, very much like having more than one sculpture. Tree Thoughts spins freely to watch the composition and ideas about the tree change from one side to the next, building a visual text. Zach's moniker is a real spinner and usually causes the viewer to giggle while giving it a turn. The physical interaction is great. An important aspect of this work is finding the stone. I often drive around the state for days, uh, and I frequent the stone yards until I find a stone that I've got to have. But from that point, I can, in this studio, I can lift these huge stones, stand them, lay them down, roll them over, even put them on the turntables so that I can both study them 
combine them with other stones, start carving um, into the stone to allow the steel fixtures uh, a place to be. I can set up a piece in progress or a piece that's done on a turntable, study it for composition. It's uh, a wonderful way to be able to view the work, like have a chair over there. This piece is completed, but I still like to have it in the studio where I can turn it, enjoy different aspects of it. I've been developing a studio for 25 years and working as a full-time sculptor. Windjammer was the first windmobile that was produced in this facility, and this one-ton stone door was completed three years ago. Thank you for watching.